With the new year comes some new state laws, and tonight we're taking a closer look at Senate Bill 960. This law took effect at the start of the year, changing the qualifications to become a police officer here in California. Now anyone who can legally work in the state under federal law can become a police officer, regardless of citizenship. Tonight we clear up some misconceptions about the new law by going directly to the state senator who wrote the bill, and we talk with the San Diego Police Officers Association about their concerns. Right now, the San Diego Police Department has lost over 500 officers since July of 2020. That's drastic. We need everyone we can to be able to be a police officer. However, we are not in favor of reducing the requirements and lowering the standards. Sergeant Jared Wilson, speaking as president and on behalf of the San Diego Police Officers Association, says they do have concerns about the new California law that changed the qualifications to become a police officer in the state. Prior to January 1st of this year, you had to be a United States citizen or permanent resident to qualify for the job. Now, that's no longer the case. Anyone who is legally authorized to work in the state of California with the proper green card or visa is now eligible to become a police officer, thanks to Senate Bill 960, authored by State Senator Nancy Skinner. When you look at California's rules, almost every other profession lawyers, doctors are able to be part of that profession as long as they have full federal legal work authorization. It was only our sworn officers that we restricted that way, even firefighters. And ironically, in the military, you could be an officer in the military and you could not be a peace officer in California. So that's why we felt it was totally right to fix the rule. Just to make things perfectly clear, we're not talking about undocumented workers. No, you have to have full legal work authorization. I think that's the misconception that a lot of people have. Certainly. Senator Skinner says it was the University of California Police Department that first reached out and pushed for the change. During a time when police departments across the state are struggling to fill positions, UC Davis Police Chief Joe Farrow testified at an Assembly Public Safety Committee hearing they see a lot of stellar candidates in their programs who they ultimately can't hire. We wanted to come to the legislature to see if we can't change that law, and that's why I'm here today. The bill passed, changing things for people like UC Davis graduate and DACA recipient Ernesto Marone, who attended the UC Police Academy and passed the background check, but wasn't eligible to be hired as an officer until now. This bill will allow me and countless others the opportunity to fulfill my dream of serving the communities where I was raised, educated, and live as a sworn police officer. The SDPOA says while they don't support the new law, they do acknowledge it will help people like Marone. The public demands and deserves a high quality police force and officers that uh, meet stringent standards. So we're not in favor of lowering these standards at all. However, I think there's a handful of people who have been in this country a long time will be able to hire as a result of this, uh, and hopefully they become citizens. Do you feel you are lowering the standards of what it takes to be a peace officer? Not at all. Not at all. They would still have to meet every other qualification. Let's say I'm a green card holder. I have to get the background check. I have to meet every other requirement. Senator Skinner says the California Police Chiefs Association does support this new law. Also, I checked with San Diego Police and the San Diego Sheriff's Department. Both tell me they are updating their policies to reflect this new requirement. As for DACA recipients, right now they are allowed to continue renewing their status and obtain legal authorization to work, but new applications are not being accepted. And these one are people that are paying taxes. Yeah. And, just and one of the issues this addresses is that it takes so long to become a citizen. That's true. Uh, the Senator Skinner said a backlog of six to 10 years, so this gets people who are qualified into the workforce and a, a lot of support from a lot of police agencies, yeah. not from our local SDPOA, but from they're, a lot of the chiefs. They're in the process, they're on their way, they want to serve and protect.